Hello everyone, hope you're going well. I'm going great. I just got home from work and I've decided it's time to paint the ceiling. Well, I undercoat it. So I'm going to clear everything out of here. I'm going to get the sander, I'm going to sand all the flushing down and get the undercoat on. In history books, psychology and a different way to look at it all. My perspective is broken If suffering's a way to earn your keep I better start putting miles on my feet But I'm so tired of wandering Okay, so I'm about to sand the ceiling, but before I can do that, I had to close up these openings because the dust from the flushing compound flies everywhere. And if I get that through the house, I'm not going to be popular. So I've put, so I've got some old sheets, I've put it over the archway there, and also I've got it on the doorway, so hopefully we won't get much dust going through. Uh, at least it's going to be minimal. Thought by now pain would be my friend I know that discomfort was a means to an end But I'm lying in one bed No, I'm lying So to do this job, I've got the full bore sander so we're just going to, uh, I'm going to hang off the side of the uh, scaffold and I should be able to reach half the room at a time with this sander. So uh, I'll get up there and we'll see how I go. COVID happened to have his dust mask handy. Not exactly a dust mask, but it'll do. Well that's a fun job, might be bad for dust but 
who cares? I'm getting somewhere. Hi guys, I just wanted to butt into this painting video because I've got some really exciting stuff going on. So I went and saw my cousin Robin. Hey, how you doing Robin? Uh, and uh, she's been kind enough to give me her uh, lead lighting equipment. So the lead light is going to go on all the transoms inside the house and of course the transom, the front door and the side lights will all be lead light. And I'm going to be doing a rose pattern and uh, this is uh, an idea on what I'm going to be doing. So of course the rose pattern is uh, to remember my grandma boy. Um, so Robin has given me a glass grinder, all these tools, soldering iron, pliers, uh, everything I need to do the lead lighting. And today I just went and picked up some supplies. So I've got the, the external lead, uh, I don't know what you call these. I haven't done lead lighting before. This is gonna be a first for me. But I'm excited, I'm really excited to be having a go at this. It's something I've wanted to do for years. So I picked up the external bit and all the internal pieces of lead. So I've got enough to do the, 
uh, the transom on the main bedroom. So that's why I wanted to get all this now because I'm looking to get that bedroom finished in the next couple of weeks. So I've got some glass. So grandma's, one of grandma's favorite roses and mine especially is the red cardinal. So I've got some red glass. Hope you can pick those three up. Now there's three different textures and uh, you, you may not be able to see the texture, but the beautiful glass. That one, just a plain red one. And then I've got this beautiful one here. I don't know which, probably this way. Um, you can see the texture on it there. And uh, yeah, so that's gonna look really beautiful for the roses. And then I've got some green. So that's for the leaves. And I'm still researching patterns, so there may be some other colors that will come into it. So as well as the colored ones, now being that it's for a front door, I don't want people just walking past a house and looking straight down into the, uh, right down the hallway and seeing everyone and you know, whatever's happening inside. So I, I'm going for a patterned glass. So I've got some nice patterns here. So um, you can pick that one up. It's quite a coarse pattern. Um, so we've got that one. We've got this one here, which is also, I'm not sure which way these go, but that's kind of a ripple pattern. So I've got that one. And then the, the other one, I'll take you in a second and show you, is uh, glass that's been in this house for many years. And uh, it was, uh, I'll, I'll tell you the whole story later, uh, but there's some petitions here and there's rippled glass, or not, uh, I think it's more dimpled glass that uh, I've got quite a bit of that. And so I'm gonna reuse that glass in all these lead light panels. So um, yeah, that's pretty exciting, I'm pumped, you know. Um, one thing that makes a Federation Villa is the lead light. And uh, although this isn't traditional, you know, maybe a tulip pattern is more traditional in a Federation home. Uh, I think the roses were also used, but you know, obviously I'm going for the roses uh, for my grandma. So uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll just pop out and I'll show you the glass now. So this is a petition that's out in the laundry. Uh, there are uh, another couple of these panels out in the shed, but uh, this is the dimpled pattern, which will be the third type of clear glass that will be used. So I think you can pick that up okay. So I think those three will look quite nice together. So yeah, at the supply store, I picked up a brand new glass cutter. Uh, so I've got a nice, sharp edge there um, and uh, the rest of the gear you know it's all here um, so yeah anyway I'm really pumped about doing this job and I'll take you through uh, you know my journey with the uh, lead light uh, in making up the pattern putting it all together you know I'll, I'll show you what I'm doing uh, and like I said I've never done this before but I'm gonna research as always on videos on YouTube and I'll show you what is possible when you've never done something and you, what you can learn off of YouTube tutorials. So anyway, I think it's time to get back on with the painting now. So uh, time to get dirty.
Wish you the best and say goodbye. You start to get dressed and then we cry. Cause we both know it's gonna hurt. But not as much as this does. Oh, baby, bye. It's for the best and you know why. You gotta leave me here right now. Before we make this even worse. It's gonna hurt. So I'm really excited guys, first bit of undercoat on the house and uh, you know this room is really moving along. Uh, that'll do it for today's video. In the next video we're going to be doing running the wires for the light and the light switches and also running the, uh, the cables for the power points. Uh, after we've done that we'll be able to put the last bit of plaster on and uh, finish it up and then undercoat the walls. So, that's not too far away and uh, probably I'd say uh, not this weekend uh, but the, the following one we'll get the floor sander and we'll sand the floors up and uh, in the meantime I'll get the, uh, all the skirtings uh, wood grained and uh, it'll all come together quite quickly probably in, in the next two weeks. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed it and you want to see more. And uh, if you liked it, also give it a thumbs up. That, that'll really help me to know I'm on the right track and, uh, and that I'm putting out stuff that you guys enjoy. So, uh, yeah, thanks again and uh, we'll see you next time. Cheers. Out the window, no smoke in my eyes. I can hear the